Good morning, Francis. You just announced earlier today a deal with Quintolio, and the market is responding favor favorably to this. Can you provide some updates on this deal? Yes, hi. It's been, uh, I mean, first of all, I'm happy to see you again. And uh, yes, uh, regarding, I think, the deal that was announced this morning, you know, it's been a while that uh, Quantum Emotion is looking at uh, how our technology, our quantum platform, who's actually been used so far for security and cybersecurity could also have uh, an impact on other areas, you know, than just uh, security. There is actually a multitude of usage. One is actually uh, artificial intelligence, AI. Why is that? Is because the usage of random numbers can dramatically improve the performance of AI. Okay. So, and this is what I agree we're pursuing, for example, when platforms that are used today in, for example, in the financial world that act, that uh, use actually to do better predictions, better, you know, forecast, you know, more precise forecast. When they use uh, quantum numbers, pure quantum numbers, we know already that actually their performance, you know, and the, and the rapidity, and the, basically the speed where can they, they do these predictions can dramatically improve. And in this and, and this is the avenue that we are pursuing now is actually to creating AI platforms that integrate, in fact, our QRNG or entropy as a service. It's a it's a it's a different way to explain that to actually really create a very, very performant platforms that using quantum and AI and actually helping companies like Quantolio to differentiate themselves from the competition. I have to say, what you have just commented on is absolutely staggering, mentally <laughs> mm -hmm. mind-blowing, because the impact on the financial market in general is... Uh, absolutely. Can you comment on this? No, absolutely. Can you imagine uh, if, you know, as you know, the humankinds are always obsessed you know, by the future, you know, by prediction, you know, forecast. And uh, if you could way, find a ways actually to do, to more, be more precise in, in the future uh, by the alliance, in fact, of quantum and uh, artificial intelligence, that could be a revolutionary. And you will, they will notice that immediately because possibly you, you will have actually more value creation in the financial world because you're more precise, you know, in the, whatever you project in the future. If you're more precise, obviously, you create a lot of value for the ones who are using these platforms. So, Francis, obviously, with what you've just announced today, your phone must be ringing off the hook. How is Quantum Emotion set up for this growth? Well, that's a very interesting question and a challenging question is, as you know, we, 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 the company, I took over this company four years ago. I mean, there was very little in the company, just a few patents, you know, and we raised, you know, something like uh, 10, you know, a little bit more than $10 million, you know, and everything that we have today, it's been accomplished in that space uh, with a lot of work, you can imagine, you know, and but right now, actually, what I'm seeing is that um, for us, the future is is to go probably to the Nasdaq, you know, and uh, you know, and we, we're going to be somehow, you know, working on that. I think this is the I would say I may say so that this is the first uh, PR of many others that are actually going to create an incredible value for the company. So we are in the territory now of uh, commercialization. This is only one aspect, you know, I think we are active in other fields. And um, I, so I think the, the future is really, really bright for the company. And, and it's pretty, it's, it's actually short term future. And we're not, we're not going to wait for too long. Speaking of future, you're also targeting in addition to the financial industry in general and financial services. You've been in health, but your most recent news release prior to this one, which of course is quite significant, was about becoming a partner uh, in the energy sector. Would you like to comment on that particular news? Yes, um, as you know, security concerns almost every vertical of the economy in one way or another. 
And as we move forward, you know, we identify every day, you know, opportunities, you know, that um, and particularly today, you know, more than it was, used to be six months ago, I think there is an awareness of, uh, of actually what could be the threats of tomorrow and particularly quantum computers. You know, it's a, I mean, cybersecurity is today still a big headache, but if we do nothing, you know, I mean, the headache can transform itself in a, an apocalypse with the, when quantum computers will appear, you know, and it will be used. So one of the many, you know, I mean, you know, areas that are concerned by security, you know, to, to, you know is, is energy. Um, you know, I mean, energy, you know, grades, for example, securing them right today, um, most of these energies are managed at distance. When, when you say distance, you know, you, you need communications and you need to secure these communications. And this is today what actually we, we use our based uh, platform in, secure, in cybersecurity is actually communicating a transfer of complex data from point to point. And we do that in an extremely secure way. We're using these, uh, not only actually for the, the, the security of today, but also we're preparing to be ready for future quantum attack, quantum computers attack. I noticed in the same news release, you talked about uh, cybersecurity as the greatest current risk to 65% of energy professionals are acknowledging yeah. this particular concern. Um, would you like to comment any further on this? Well, I mean, it's true that we, 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 we quote in, uh, in the press release that uh, report, you know, on energy that, yes, it is, uh, it is well starting to become well known. And um, I think what makes us a difference, so there, there is a, a movement, you know, if I try to really improve the security of uh, the energy grades, for example, but the, where the originality is, there are very few people I've started to think about also adding a quantum layer of protection. And this is what makes us different because we can improve actually the security now. And this is the beauty of our platform. You know, it's an, a kind of hybrid platform that, you know, only not only improve today's security, but actually prepares for the danger of tomorrow. So Francis, with all of this news here uh, for Quantum Emotion, is there anything else you'd like to add for our audience? I mean, um... Yes, I would like to to add that. Look, this is a, I think an incredible opportunity for for investors because uh, there are very few companies in um, in the space of quantum cybersecurity that are public, and I think you can only see now. I mean, I know there's been uh, bubbles, you know, and uh, we we went through that recently, you know, up and down and everything, but it's real. You know, I mean, uh, you know, and I think that anybody who is interested in this space will, will believe it actually in the story, you know, the, the you know, basically the, the story that, uh, yes, uh, cybersecurity is something that you have to consider very seriously. And the, the unmet need is actually huge. Uh, so the, the market, you know, and the opportunities for investors is almost infinite. Well, if that doesn't get you running to the following website for quantum emotion, I don't know what will. Francis, mm -hmm. thank you so much for the update. As always, it's a real okay. pleasure. A, a bientôt. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.